This book is called Flowers. It was put together and written by Vijaya Kisti Bodak, and it's part of a series called the Plant Parts Series, put out by Capstone Press for Young Scientists. In putting this book together, Vijaya Kisti Bodak worked with a consulting editor, Gail Saunders Smith, and other scientists to make sure that the information given to young learners would be accurate. The photos were taken from many sources, uh, but the writing was done by Bodak. And because it's a nonfiction book, there's what's called a table of contents. So parts of a sunflower, that'll be page 22. Um, all kinds of flowers, that'll be page 12. The table of contents tells you what's coming up. Plants need flowers. Flowers make seeds and fruits for plants. Flowers come in many colors, shapes, and sizes. Flower buds grow from the stem of a plant. This would be the stem right here, right? And these small ones that aren't open up yet, those are the buds. When the buds open, like this one's open, um, you get the flower. The buds open and flowers bloom. Flowers have pollen inside. Pollen helps flowers make seeds. And you may know that when bees, bumblebees, come and visit the flowers to get the nectar, little bits of pollen get on the bees' legs and they help spread the pollen around. Parts of the flower turn into fruit. Seeds grow inside the fruit. New plants grow from the seeds. Here's fruit, and if we cut this open, we'd find little seeds on the inside. All kinds of flowers. Colorful flower petals attract birds, like this hummingbird. The birds sip on nectar inside the flowers. Roses have soft petals that smell good. Roses grow on bushes. Here's one just budding. This one's starting to open, and these are way wide open. Flowers we eat. We eat some flowers. Cauliflower is a white flower. We eat it raw or cooked. There is a cauliflower. Artichokes are actually flower buds. They make good dips and sauces, and your family might eat them by taking each leaf and scraping them against your teeth or dipping them in butter. Wonderful flowers, pretty or plain, large or small, flowers help plants make fruit and seeds. Do you remember when we looked at the table of contents at the beginning, we saw there was going to be a page about sunflowers? Here's that page. Parts of a sunflower. The actual flower is the great part big part that we recognize. The root and the seed grow in the ground. The stem or the stalk is what holds up the flower, and the leaves are what are underneath the flower but attached to the stem. So first find the root and then the seed. That comes up with a stem and some leaves that are attached. And then there's the great, big, beautiful sunflower. And in the middle here are more seeds. If you eat sunflower seeds, these are the parts in the middle that you like to eat. On this side of the page, because it's an information, nonfiction, science learning book, there's something called a glossary. And it has important words like attract, bud, nectar, pollen, seed, 
and stem. These are the words you might not be completely sure what they mean. Pollen. The tiny yellow grains made in flowers. That's what pollen is. And if you want to read more, science books often recognize that young readers want to learn more, and they give you recommendations for more books. So there's a book called Buds and Blossoms, a book about flowers that you can find for young readers. There's a book called Flowers and Seeds, The World of Plants. You can find that one. And this one by Lola Schaefer is called Pick, Pull, Snap, Where Once a Flower Bloomed. All good books for young readers who want to learn more about plants and flowers. This book only has 118 different words. So it's meant for young scientists but it has some fancy things to learn. So this index, if you want to go back and say, where did, where did they tell us about the roses? What page was that? You look up roses and it tells you what page to go back to. Internet sites, there's a lot of places you can search for more information, but here's an example of what you can find by looking for the Penn State University extension page. Every state, all 50 states in the United States, has at least one, and in some cases, two land-grant colleges or universities. Penn State was one of the first land-grant colleges. And they have a special mission to teach people things like plant life. So if you're looking for the Penn State expansion, extension um, pages on flowers, you'll find this, Activity 8, Label the Flower Parts. So do a search for 4-H or co-op extension flowers and you'll start finding lots of stuff about flowers. A grown-up can help you. If your name is Tamika and you live in Latrobe, Pennsylvania and think you want to be a horticulturalist or if your name is Leon and you live in New Mexico and think you want to be a botanist, this might be a good book for you to start with. Flowers by Vijaya Kisti Bodak.